Now, the final concept that we're going to discuss is what you call conditional probability. And with conditional probability, you find the probability of some event B, some event B, given now, given that event A has already happened. So what's, that's going to kind of lead us to what's called a dependent or finding the probability of dependent events. So let's let's look look at this via an example. So same table as before. Okay, but in this case, we want to find the probability that the student got a B, I mean got an A on this test, given that he is mad. Okay, so what you do, you simply look at, okay, you tell me that the student is male. That's given. All right, so then my I know my desired outcome, so the probability of an A given a male student. So I know my denominator is no longer 65 because they told me that this is a male student that I'm, I'm interested in. Okay, now the number of male students that earn A's is eight. That's conditional probability. Eight out of 39. You try to simplify that fraction um, and it's in simplest form as it stands. So, 8 39. So, that's conditional probability. All right. Now, same question. I'm going to reword it just a little bit. We want to find the probability that a student is male given he got an A. So, you go probability male. Then you use that vertical bar, which means given the student earned an A or got an A. So we're given the student has an A. So we know we're looking at the A column. So there's 18 students total. Eight of those students were male. We simplify this, and we end up with four ninths, because we divide by two. So that's conditional probability. All right, so now that sets us up. Now notice, notice the difference. Conditional probability of dependent events. So again, let's look at the formula. The probability of both of these events, now notice, keyword is and, right? That means we're going to multiply, so we find the probability of A times the probability of B, given that A has occurred. Now, you can also write it this way. You can say the probability, well, it's actually right. The probability of B, given that A has occurred, okay? So let's look at this final example. You pull two cards out of a deck. What is the probability that both are twos? Okay, so first we're going to do probability card is a two. And the second one will be probability that a card is a two given card one is a two. All right. So standard deck has 52 cards. There are four twos in that deck. So that's four out of 52, which simplifies to 113. Now, the probability of the second card being a 2, given that the first card was a 2, that means you have three cards or three 2s left in that deck. And we're going to assume without replacement. So our denominator is not actually 52. 
is out of 51, you can simplify that to 1 out of 17. So the probability that both these events occur is 1 13th times 1 17th, which is 1 over 221. And that's how you find the probability of conditional events and dependent events. Hope this helps.